Another kind of form that you can use within your mass studies is called a void form. It's similar to creating a solid form. The major difference, though, with the void is that you have to have it inside a solid form in order for it to cut something. We've got some examples here that we're going to work on. Actually, there's three things that we can do with this. We're going to look at these three solid masses that we have here. If you take the tab key, click on it, you can see that we have a mass there. We have another here and another one there. So what we're going to do is play with how to make a void. And we're going to start by making a cut down here in this corner. We're going to take out a part of this corner. So in order to do that, we're going to come up to the draw panel, and I'm going to go ahead and pick circle. I'm going to make sure that the reference plane is level one, because all these forms are on level one. And I'm going to come down here and click right here in the corner, and then I'm just going to kind of pull out. So I have a circle that's created. Because it's already a profile shape, I can come up here to the form panel. And instead of using solid form, I'm going to use a void form. And when I do that, you'll notice I get a couple choices. First choice here is to make the voided form spherical, which gives it a little bit of a curved look to it. Or I can do it as a cylinder, which is what I prefer to do here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then you'll notice here that the void shows up, and when I click away, part of the other mass has been now cut out. So you can see that there's been some change there. And the other situation is, let's say that in this mass study, we want to take out another section of this building, and we want to do it more with a rectangular shape than we did with a cylindrical shape. So we're going to take basically this box that's over here. I'm going to tab it so I select it. And you'll notice that it goes a little bit further in. We'll kind of spin it around so you can get an idea of what we're doing here. And then once you have it selected, come over to the Properties toolbar and go down to Identity Data. In there, you'll notice that we have a subcategory called Form. And then there's another property that says Solid slash Void. Go ahead and click on the little drop-down box and pick Void. That changes basically that solid now into a void, and it's going to cut the other mass. So you can see there, after clicking out, that it went ahead and made a cut. The third option is, let's say that we want to keep both these masses together, and we want a better definition as far as how this looks. You can fix that by coming up and using Cut Geometry. I'll go ahead and click on it, and I'll pick this box, and then that box. And you'll see there that I now have a clean line that kind of indicates that there are some differences in definition between those guys. Now to go ahead and edit a void, you might note that uh, we don't see the voids here. So we have to come over, hover near the area where we did the cut, then use the tab key, kind of cycle through until you can actually pick up the void. Once you pick up the void by clicking on it with the left mouse, You'll see I now have it selected, and I can double-click on there to get at the profile that's gone ahead and been made. I can click on the profile and go ahead and make another change. So if I want to drop this down to 55 feet, let's say, I can do something along that line, and then hit Mode, and it will go ahead and make another cut. So you can see it's changed a little bit, but that's basically what you have. So you can see here that we've shown a couple of different methods to work with voids. You can create one and make sure, first of all, that when you do create it, that it is inside a solid form so it has something to cut. You can take an existing mass and through properties, go ahead and change it from a solid into a void. You can also use the cut geometry tool in order to help define shapes so they have more definition. Additionally, just remember as well that voids work both in the in-place mass within the project and also within the family editor.